Bobby McKay slashed his way through the rough terrain. In search of coal, a glory hole, a deep, abundant vein. At Comox Lake, there's coal to take, the government men extol. For a hundred acres of land, it was only a grand when invested in developing coal. In 1910, over 2,000 men worked in the Cumberland mines. Their pickaxes rang with clatter and clang within the dark confines. The sweat would pour and they'd ignore the coal dust in their eyes. They'd slave away for pennies a day behind their black disguise. Shoes of the mules and digging tools often caused a spark because gas would emit from the depths of the pit and explode in the deep and the dark. By 1920, in the land of plenty, the town was in full swing. Music and dance and games of chance. Dunsmuir was boss, but Cole was king. In 66, the miners picked stopped swinging in the gloom. They packed their gear for a new frontier. The town had passed its boom. Now on Camp Road, the children are told, you must read between the lines. The warnings draw close from the long ago ghosts down in the Cumberland mines.